Oh, hi there. I'm just on an Easter egg hunt. Look how many Easter eggs I've already found. I think I got them all. What do you think? You think I might have missed one? Oh, I better check again then. Hmm. Oh, I love Easter. Oh, look. You guys are right. I should check some more under the counter. Hello, Mission Kids, and welcome to Mission Kids Online. I hope you're having an amazing week. Now, normally we would start this week with a new theme since it's the beginning of a new month. But we're going to do something special this week because this week is a special week. Do you know what's special about this week? That's right. This week we're celebrating Easter. Happy Easter, Mission Kids. Now, Easter is a really special time of year because we celebrate and remember something that happened a long, long time ago that was really special. We remember and celebrate that Jesus died on a cross for our sins, and three days later, he rose from the dead, overcoming death. Now, we're going to learn more about that today and why that's so important, but let's get started singing a song that can help us remember how and why Jesus died. song about God's love for us. Now the cross wasn't a beautiful thing. In fact, in the Bible and during the time of Jesus, the cross was a symbol of shame and death, and it was a punishment meant for the worst criminals. 
And Jesus didn't deserve shame or death, and he didn't deserve to be treated like a criminal. He deserved to be worshipped as king. He deserved a crown of gold, not a crown of thorns. We are the ones who have broken God's laws, and we're the ones that deserve God's punishment. But the beautiful thing is that Jesus was willing to die and take on that punishment for our sins so that we could be forgiven and have everlasting life with God. Jesus loved us so much that he was willing to die for us. That's beautiful. Let's turn to our Bible story today to learn more about how Jesus died, how he overcame death, and how he did it all for us. John chapter 18 to 20. The story of Easter. Jesus' sacrifice. This is Jesus. Hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. The Jewish leaders and teachers did not like what Jesus was doing or how he claimed to be the Son of God. And so they made a plan to arrest him to get rid of him once and for all. Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, agreed to betray Jesus come in, come in. and give him over to the religious leaders for some money. Jesus was in a garden praying, and Judas showed the man who Jesus was. Jesus was arrested and taken to the rulers of the land so that they could decide what to do with him. Jesus was presented before the high council and they asked him if he was the Messiah, the savior of the Jews. They asked him if he was claiming to be the son of God. You say that I am. <laughs> and the council was furious and they shouted that Jesus was guilty and he deserves to die. So they took Jesus before the Roman ruler Pilate and he heard the case against Jesus. Pilate didn't think that Jesus had done anything wrong. Huh, seems okay to me. They found him to be innocent, so Pilate said that he would punish Jesus and then release him. What? But the crowd kept screaming louder and louder, crucify him, we want him dead. And because of the pressure of the crowd, Pilate turned Jesus over to the Roman soldiers to be crucified. Jesus was hurt and spit on, his clothes were torn and taken from him, and a crown made out of thorns was put on his head. He was beaten so badly that he could barely stand on his own, and then he was forced to carry his cross so far up a mountain that he needed help because he could not do it on his own. Once Jesus made it to the place where he would be crucified, called the skull, the soldiers around him nailed him to the cross and waited for him to die. While Jesus was hanging on the cross, many people shouted to him, If you really are the Son of God, save yourself from the cross. But Jesus knew he had to die to forgive his people for their sins. At noon, darkness fell across the whole land. Three hours later, Jesus took his last breath and finally died. At that very moment, the curtain in the temple that separated the priests from God's holy place tore in two. A soldier watching the whole thing said, This man truly was the Son of God. Then a righteous man named Joseph came and placed Jesus' body in a tomb. 
Three days passed and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body and found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Don't be afraid, said an angel. He is not here. He is risen. At this, the woman remembered that Jesus had told them that he would rise again on the third day and ran to go tell the disciples what they had seen and heard. Huh? hey -oh. ah! And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. He taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. such an amazing story. Jesus, who did nothing wrong, was nailed to a cross like a criminal, all because he told people that he was God's son. Now, if Jesus were lying, that would probably have been the end of the story. But Jesus was telling the truth. Jesus is the son of God, and he is the one that God sent to save his people. People wondered why Jesus didn't just save himself from dying on the cross. If he were the son of God, he could do anything. But Jesus didn't save himself from death. He knew that his death would pay for our sins. He was dying for you and he was dying for me. Jesus died so that we could be forgiven from all the things that we do wrong. And he didn't have to prove who he was when he was on the cross because he proved who he was when he rose from the dead three days later. Jesus was and is the son of God. He died so that we could be forgiven and set free from our sins. And then he rose again to defeat death so that we could have everlasting life. Now that is an amazing story. Can you say the bottom line with me? Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. memory verse for this week is John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. This is an Easter egg. Now, Easter eggs are pretty awesome because they usually have something really special inside of them. They might have candy in them, or maybe a toy, or maybe even chocolate. What do you think's in this one? I hope it's chocolate. Anyway, an Easter egg can help us remember the story that we learned today. Easter is a story all about how Jesus died on the cross was buried and then rose from the dead three days later so that we could be forgiven and have everlasting life. Now an egg is a symbol of life. If this were a real egg, it would be a life just waiting to hatch. Now an Easter egg like this won't hatch, but the gift inside can remind us of the gift of life that Jesus gives us. And just like there's something inside of the egg, Jesus was placed inside of a tomb. And when we take the gift out, nerds. And we look back at the empty egg, we can remember that because the tomb is empty, because Jesus rose from the dead and overcame death, we can have the gift of life. So, Jesus died on the cross, was buried in the tomb. What do you think's in this one? Anyway, 
Three days later, he rose from the dead. And that is the story of Easter. A craft today is actually a magic trick that you could show to your friends and family. And it's based on the story that we learned today. The story of how Jesus died on a cross, was buried in a tomb, and then rose from the dead three days later so that we could be forgiven and have everlasting life. So to do the trick, we're going to tell that story. So Jesus died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. So here's our tomb, and here's Jesus. So we're going to put Jesus in the tomb. And Jesus was in the tomb for three days. Can you count with me? One, two, three. And on the third day, Jesus rose from the dead, and the tomb was empty. Now that's our trick for today, and that's our craft for today. So I'm going to first show you how to do the craft, and then I'll show you how to do the trick. All right. So to do the uh, craft, you're going to need some supplies. You're going to need two pieces of paper. It doesn't matter what color they are. And you're going to need uh, a Jesus. Now this is a printable that's available on a website. And uh, you can use that or you could draw a Jesus or some other way. Uh, make a Jesus. Have uh, a glue stick and you'll need some scissors. All right. So to get started, we're going to actually cut out a Jesus. Or if you're going to draw one, you could draw your Jesus. And the basic idea behind this is just that the Jesus is about the size of your hand. So you don't want a giant Jesus because he needs to be able to fit inside of the tube. Alright, so now I have my Jesus. And the next step is to make the tube. So one of the pieces of paper, you're going to roll into a tube, all right? And I use glue, you can use tape or some other way, staples to connect your uh, tube together. If you use glue, you might have to let it dry before you're ready to move on uh, to the next steps. But uh, that looks good. The next step is to take your other piece of paper and you're going to roll it to and you want it to be about the same size as your other tube. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna twist it a little bit to make a little bit of a cone so that one side is bigger than the other. But the big side, you want to be the same size as your other two. And this might be a little tricky, so you might need some help with, uh, with this from your parents. Staple your tube that way.
All right, took a little bit of work, but now that we got the two tubes the right way, um, you're gonna take the one that you've twisted a little bit and you're gonna cut it so that it's the same length as the other two. Because you twisted it, you might have some uh, overlapping paper that you need to cut off. So we're gonna do that. All right, now that's all you have to do. So you're gonna take your tube, the smaller one on the one end and put it inside your bigger tube. And basically that's gonna give you a place to put your Jesus to hide him when you put him in the tube. So that way, when you tell the story, you will tell them that Jesus died on a cross, was buried in a tomb. And when you put Jesus in the tomb, you're going to put him in that space between the two tubes so he can hide in there. And you're going to tell them that he was in there for three days. One, two, three. And on the third day, when you show the tube this way, you can't see Jesus. And you'll tell them that the tomb was empty on the third day. And that's the trick. And that's our craft. Well, I hope you have a great Easter, and I hope you have a lot of fun with your craft this week. Let's just close our time together with prayer. God, we thank you so much for who you are and all that you've done for us. We thank you that you sent your one and only Son to rescue us from our sin. And Jesus, we thank you that you were willing to take the punishment for our sins. God, we thank you that you had the power to overcome death so that we may have everlasting life with you. God, help us to remember how great you are and all that you've done. And may that encourage us to just trust you and follow you all the more. And help us to be encouraged to share this good news with others and to love them the way that you love us. We pray this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Well, happy Easter. We'll see you next time.